Hello Makers, I hope you are as thrilled about the new rotary trimmer from Tim Holtz and Tonic Studios as I am. I have so enjoyed using this over the last few weeks. With my last tutorial on the book nook for Tim Holtz Ideology 2023, I did not get to show you how I cut all of the strips of chipboard that I used in that. I used it for making the moldings. I used it for making the edges of the what would be the cover on the vignette tray and so many pieces of thin chipboard. And so I wanted to show you how I did that because I used this amazing trimmer. So let's get started talking about how this trimmer works with chipboard. First, let's talk about uh, some of the things that I can use. I didn't use this time, but I could use them in the future if I wanted. And that is the Sizzix mat board. This is a nice thick chipboard. Uh, this is white through and through. You can also get cream colored through and through. And then I'll show you the other types of chipboard that I have on hand here at home in my studio. So this chipboard, we're going to go ahead and put it on here. I'm going to put it up against the edge. I'm going to put my fingers on it and I'm going to cut the thinnest little strip. Whoops, too, too thin actually. I need to get it over the cutting edge. There we go. All right. So look at that little quarter of an inch cut right there. And then if I wanted an, an eighth of an inch, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and put that just barely over the edge. Hold it, I'm pulling it. Wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? There really is no way I would get this perfect of a little eighth of an inch, a thin eighth of an inch at that piece that I could use without this rotary trimmer. That's incredible. Now, this is a piece of fairly thick. It's about the same width. Um, this is black core chipboard that I get off of Amazon. And so let's go the long way. And I will go ahead and cut that. Now, you have to have this out of the way if you want to be able to get it over there. And I'm just pushing. I'm holding down here. And I pushed. And look at that. It just cuts right through it. I hardly have to use any muscles. This is a very thin chipboard. It says it's 32 point. I really don't know what that means. And I don't know the point value on the other one that I get, but that's like cutting paper. The thin stuff, I just, I didn't even have to use my muscles to cut through that. This is the chipboard that comes on the back of the magnetic vent covers that we use to store our Sizzix dies. And so it is, it's thick, but it is, you can easily bend it, um, but it is a nice thickness for using. This is actually what I used for the book nook. And then I wanted to show you in case you're concerned that, well, what if I get some chipboard that's too thick and I'm not, it's, it's going to break my machine. It won't break your machine. And this is why this is a piece of very thick chipboard that I ordered, I don't know why I did this. Um, it's because I, I don't really understand math or how thick things are. And so I ordered some really thick black core and then the craft core chipboard off of Amazon. And it's really like two pieces that are adhered together. So it's the thickness of two pieces of heavy chipboard. So this, I tried to die cut with it and it actually bent the my Biggs die cut. So you can't die cut with this. Then I tried to cut it on my guillotine and I broke the handle off of my guillotine. So it does break things, dies and the guillotine. And so you would maybe be concerned, well, what would happen if I tried to cut with this? Well, it actually stops. So see, it's not even gonna let me try. So I can't break it. I'm not gonna break those gears that are in there causing it to go. It just stops and it won't let you go. Okay, so you can see it just made a little dent there, but it stops. So it's not gonna allow you to cut something that is too thick and will break it. But just look at how amazing these little strips of chipboard are for you to use for shaker cards, uh, if you need to, you know, add dimension to anything, or if you're making, you know, books out of vignette trays and vignette boxes like I do. 
this cuts it perfectly. So I am just so excited and so thankful and so grateful to Tim Holtz and Tonic Studios for coming out with this amazing trimmer. Thank you, Tim and Tonic, so much for making crafting so much easier for us.